Look, all that stress on my brain, right? Poker face, I'm in the game, right? Need a week to think, maybe eight nights. It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dungeon, y'all. Oh, everybody's having a great Tuesday. Today we are going to be talking about the Air Jordan 11 Low Light Bone Snake Skin that will be dropping May 18th, 2019. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, you guys hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and join your boy the Retro Wiz Kid and the Sneaker Dungeon family. All the love and support is greatly appreciated. We are on the race to 10,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys drop a dope comment down below and let me know if you guys plan on picking up this shoe because this video is pretty much a copper drop and to let you guys know how I feel about the shoe even though you know in, in actuality my opinion doesn't matter as long as you feel in the shoe and you want the shoe you go after the shoe let's get straight into the kicks get it to me y'all I feel like this shoe is outlet bound I'm gonna put it flat out there for y'all the shoe's gonna go to the outlet to me I feel like it's outlet bound. I mean, look at the history of the 11 lows that we've seen this year so far. I mean, the snakeskin 11 lows for the Midnight Navy didn't sell out. The pink pair did not sell out for the ladies yet. And honestly, the pink pair, they could have done 10 times better. They just should have bought them out the way that they brought them out back in 2013. If they had kept it looking like that, instead of switching up the way that the scales and everything look on the shoe, uh, I think they would have did 10 times better. That's my personal opinion. And it looks to be as if this shoe mimics that, just having that light bone colorway with the snake skin. Now, these are $185. Uh, I don't know. You guys could have, for $185, I would have rather you bring back the green pair that came out in 2013, one that I think is 10 times more fuego than these. So these right here, nine. Now the bottom of the shoes are made up of that milky bottom, not the normal ice that we get on 11s. We've been seeing the milky bottoms on different 11s recently. Like we saw them on the Baron 11 lows. We saw them on the 72 and 10s, just for two to throw out there. And now they're putting them on these. You do have that light bone colorway going all around the shoe. The snake skin, like I said, it just doesn't, I'm not feeling the snake skin on this pair. You do have the carbon fiber on the bottom of the shoe like we've always seen. Inside of the shoe, you guys can see from the pictures, we do have that black sock lining. We have a red insole with a black jump man. Rope laces like we always see. Third spacing on the Air Jordan 11s. And this shoe, man, I just wanna know how y'all feel. Honestly, honestly, is this a must have? Nine, 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 nine. This is not a must have, not for retro, man. I can't, I, I, I'm not trying to beat the shoe down, y'all. Honestly, I'm not. It's just that they could have came better. We're known for getting Jordan 11s always in the spring, summertime, and in the fall, wintertime, we get the highs, summertime, we get the lows. They could have done a lot better. I mean, we had the gum bottom navies that came out. We've had the cherries 11 lows. We had the UNC 11 lows. I mean, we had the Barons drop. We have the Easter 11 lows. We've had so many 11 lows, now that I'm thinking about it, that have come out in the last couple of years that have been a whole lot better than these. So I think they dropped a ball on this snakeskin pair, honestly. And for $185, I would say save your money. So they will be on the Sneakers app, of course. They'll be on Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, Hibbits, you know, check your apps. If you guys really want them, I think if you go get the 10 minute head start, even with a seven minute head start, I think you guys could be waitlisted on these and still have a good chance of picking these up. I don't feel like they're gonna sell out. We do have the fear of guys releasing as well on Saturday. So, hey, huh, huh, people, I mean, resellers gonna probably go out the fear of guys. They're gonna leave the light bones behind. So if you guys plan on picking these up, I think that this should be an easy cop. Just make sure you guys put the footwork in and whatever it is you do, just make sure you do what you do at your best. So at the end of the day, that's all that matters is that you get your best. And if you get your best trying to get the shoes, I feel like this pair right here is gonna be an easy cop for you. It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. I appreciate all the love and support from each and every one of you all. Please make sure you guys head over to all my social media platforms. The Retro Wiz Kid on Instagram, Wiz underscore Retro on Twitter, and on Facebook, The Retro Wiz Kid. Make sure you guys splat that like button over there. We're on the race to 10,000 subscribers. I love y'all, and I will catch you guys tomorrow in the next video. Get it!